Hello! It's Celeste from Hex and Arcane, and we are showing you a movie tonight. Right, Morgan? <laughs> Morgan agrees. So, yes, this is Morgan. I'll explain in a minute. But, Morgan, what are we showing tonight? You are right. We are showing the 1961 Hercules and the Captive Women. It's, as you know, we don't always do horror. We This is kind of a fantasy action. We've done another Hercules movie, and I think they're super fun. And there's a lot of fantasy elements in horror, so I think it all kind of goes together in a way. But we like showing the old movies and making fun of them. Right, Morgan? On that note, I also have some footage tonight from the Renaissance Fair because I attended and Morgan was stowed away in my bag. And she actually took this little dragon form because she was trying to evade security there. Yeah, we, we don't go into why. Yes, be ashamed, Morgan. Be very ashamed. Anyway, she was trying to evade security and we lost the we had a, the recipe written on a piece of paper and we lost the other part that undoes it undoes it undoes is it undoes yeah so we lost the part that undoes it so morgan's my little shoulder companion this week until we can figure it out right morgan but anyway this hercules movie has everything in it it has a muscle-bound hero on a trip to Atlantis. It has very badly done creatures from the 60s. It kind of has a sci-fi-esque feel to it. I actually, these movies remind me of old Star Trek, I think because it's early 60s and that's just how they made things. But it always gives me like a little fun feeling of nostalgia for those era of TV and movies. And what else does it have? Oh, yeah. Morgan reminded me there's a bit of trivia about this. Not too much, but the star of this film is Reg Park, and he actually was, as you can, if you watch the movie, you'll see he's huge. He was a very big built man, and they actually kept weights on for him on the set because they had very long filming days. And he had to stay in really good physical condition. So there were weights on the set for him while he was filming. And also, he was so large that, like, so many muscles that they couldn't find anyone to fill in for him. So he ended up having to do all his own stunts. And that did lead to him being severely bruised in a couple instances. But it turned out okay. So you guys should watch this fun-filled 60s film about Hercules and the captive women since he has to be rescuing somebody and then please enjoy the footage we got at the Renaissance Fair and get to this movie.
ancient Greece, divided into states, each ruled by its own king. The king of Thebes was Androcles. The mighty Hercules and his son Hylas were loyal to this brave ruler. I'm the king of Thebes! Good-natured brawling was a necessity to keep the young warriors fit and strong, for wars were always present. That's enough now, boys. Come on, we're leaving now. History tells us of the wars. Legends tell us of an era when the unforeseen perils of the mystical unknown were always lurking. This is one of those legends. against the enemy that menaces us. 
Would you perhaps prefer that we wait here helplessly for the moment when the enemy will decide to attack, to destroy all of our cities? My soldiers are invincible, and my navy big enough to transport them anywhere. Her centipede! Naturally, we're not so foolish as to abandon my city. Watch, Andrew, please. Look at the outlines of Greece over on the map, and within the confines of my own land. I swear by all the gods on high that no enemy will ever pass them. Yes. <laughs> if you think I've been impressed with such a childish spectacle, you're mistaken. Even a king can court misfortune to be too intriguing. May I point out to you that tribute money for the last war is still waiting to be paid? If you think to fill your coffers with my gold because we're now forced to be allies, no! All right. I must go alone with my own warriors. Abandoning my kingdom to defend all of yours. Have no fear. I shall see to it that nobody sits upon your throne during your absence. for me and Tiro. We shall sculpt one far more beautiful to celebrate your homecoming. Mine. Ours, you mean. You'll leave me once again. And I'm to wait here as before. But I didn't say anything. <laughs> no. I know you far too well. You won't let Androcles go alone. Why do you men like to chase after glory instead of remaining by your fireside, particularly with a loving wife? An adoring son who's too weak to go on your dangerous voyages, even to confront life. And you, though judging me so badly, still succeed in loving me. I've heaped curses on your head many times. But it seems that the very gods will die, my dear, before I leave here. Dianara, I love you too. You know I do. Yes, and it adds to my suffering. No, this time I don't want to leave. I've already made up my mind. But if I once had any doubts, I don't have any more. I refuse to let you suffer for me any longer. Is that true? Do you swear it? I swear by the gods. The time has come for me to settle down to a calm and tranquil life like the rest of the men. What do you want? Pardon me, Dianara. I've been waiting for Hercules to let me know when we can put to sea. Leave now, if you wish. Hercules is staying in Thebes. What do you mean? But what do we do? You have to come, Hercules. You must. We can't possibly wait any longer. You know that. I'm being reasonable. That's why I'm not leaving Thebes. Here I have my home, my wife, and my son. And it's time now that I enjoy them in peace. He's right. And you, Androcles, I must insist you won't get him away from me another time. Very well, then. But I've always been ready to accompany you wherever you've led, even through the most terrible dangers, and then even though I was afraid. Well, perhaps Dinara is right. If I had a beautiful wife and son, I would think the same way. Goodbye now, Hercules. I'll wait for you at the palace. We must try my fine old wine of Tiro and drink to our health and to my voyage. He'll be very mad. Hmm. Difficult to say before he wakes up. No matter, we're miles off shore. When Papa finds out I put a sleeping powder in his wine. Hey, he's coming around. If you take over. Don't. If he finds out that I'm here on board, we're all done for. Wait, I'll come with you. No, you stay here. Thank you. 
Lovely day, isn't it? Uh, yes. How long have we been at sea? Uh, since sun up. And where's your fleet? Uh, well... And where are your warriors? I have none. It's because of that I brought you with us. I understand, I understand. And is this your crew? Right. Galley slaves and cut purses. Fine company. It's the best I could find. But I thought you were the king of thieves. Aren't you? I fought against the soothsayers, the senators, the commanders of the army. Aren't you always saying that democracy is... Never mind, never mind. Anyway, I was right to smash the throne, wasn't I? Now, how do you intend to beat the enemy? Oh, I forgot. You've got Timotheus. No need for irony. An enemy we've never seen is twice as powerful. We now have to find out who this enemy is. From what unknown land he threatens us. How strong he is. How great are his armies? From where does he intend to attack us? Hercules, what are you doing? I'm sleepy. Uh. I'm upset. I'd prefer to hit somebody. I hid down here in this hole six long days. I've gotten seasick in the bargain. I'm going up. No, no, you don't. Don't you move. We're lost if Hercules finds you on board. The only thing he's been asking all these days is whether you're at home safe and sound. Did you tell him I was? Don't be silly. What else did he say? Nothing. Mostly he sleeps. When he doesn't sleep, he fishes. Fishes? Fishes. Caught many fish? Nah. fun to walk around here and there's so many people dressed up today there's a lot of people not a lot of people dressed in normal renaissance garb and there's so many people dressed up steampunk if you look around 
It is very packed today, but that's a good thing. The joust happens in a little bit. We'll try to catch that. And then there's a barely balanced act, which I'm super excited about because it is a really amazing act. I'll try to capture some of that, but these people are so talented. It blows my mind. can't be far off, and the men will be back soon. We should leave before the sun goes down. Look, yonder. Hmm? There in that direction is a mysterious country. If we can find it with the aid of the gods, we can confront the danger that's menacing us. What makes you so sure the gods will help us? I'll go look for the men now. I can't believe that rats gnawed those water bags. Human rats with swords, maybe. Certainly not the best of men for an enterprise like this. Sleep well. Don't trouble yourself. I'll wake you just before we go aboard. Thank you. 
don't know why, but why makes me feel better. Come in. You should await our return, unless some passing ship is willing to repatriate you. You think that's a good idea? Hey, Hercules. A very good idea. Even if they are criminals, there's no reason why they should be sent to the death. But what about us? For us, it's different. We set out on this voyage of our own free will. Well, at least you did. Now, how can the three of us navigate this ship? Three? You mean two of you? Huh? One shall man the sail, the other the helm. Don't worry, I'm sure everything will work out wonderfully. <sighs> you get back to this. He's staring here. meet again. Granted that it be in my power to save him. Oh, Zeus, my father.
kill me, I beg you. Do not fear. I will not harm you. Please put an end to this torment. Kill me. Who are you? What God persecutes you? Go away, stranger. Go away. Who has imprisoned you? He was a man like you. But he can be everything. A great serpent, water, a terrible tempest. The air that you breathe, the earth you walk upon. Go away. No one knows in what form he will next appear. Who is the monster who threatens you? Proteus. Watch out! Save yourself! It's him! It's Proteus! Go away! I don't want intruders on my island. Leave here now, or you'll be dead by nightfall. is dead. That is his blood. This rocky cliff, the whole island, is Proteus himself. He nourished himself on the blood of you and other victims. But now it is all over. You think so? It was my people who left me as a sacrifice to prevent him from destroying them. When you killed him, you went against the will of the gods. No. Without the help of the gods, I would never have succeeded in slaying that monster. And the gods will help us again. Sure. 
children are dedicated to living. They're going to the mountain of the dead.
if I interrupt the ceremony. But the mists that protect our island have vanished as if by magic. I saw it from the mountain. It's now my fear Atlantis can be seen by mortal eyes. Uranus has abandoned us. That explains his anger. Listen, turn her over on the great mountain. We must sacrifice the Proteus. Wait. Proteus does not need human victims any longer. You dare enter here? Who are you? Hercules, the thief. My father, the omnipotent Zeus, has guided me here to your land. Let him alone. No mortal has ever dared set foot on the sacred island of Atlantis before. What are you doing here? What foolhardy reason has led you to defy the ire of our God? I do not believe in evil gods. Such gods I have been taught to hate. I combat gods which demand human sacrifices and slake their thirst with human blood. For this reason I have slain Proteus and saved the life of a maiden who was sacrificed to his monstrous fury. You lie. alive, and yet there is no joy in your eyes. You have committed the most terrible of sacrileges. You have killed the son of Uranus, Proteus, and at his death the mists which had protected Atlantis for centuries were dissolved. What is Atlantis to hide which mortal man must not behold? For what reason have you come here to Atlantis? Hercules the thief? I have brought his mani back to her mother. And if the gods were as angry as you say, they never would have allowed me to come this far, nor helped me to destroy Proteus. Perhaps you are right and we are wrong. But... If we have committed errors, we must remedy them and give our thanks to him who has opened our eyes. Come, my daughter. Oh. I am happy you have returned. I can only ask your forgiveness and render my thanks to him who has saved you. It is not me you should thank, but the fate which has brought me here in search of a friend. Fate must have been more concerned for the well-being of his many than for the well-being of your friend, sending you here to our shores. No mortal has ever landed here before. You are the first. My friend Androcles vanished at sea during a storm. I'm convinced he's alive, but he's in danger. Were he here, I would not hesitate to tell you. I would go to any lengths to help him out of gratitude to you for having saved the life of my daughter. But now we must celebrate your victory over Proteus. May it signify good fortune for our land. You shall be my guest. You have only to ask for anything you wish, and it shall be given to you. I've awakened from a nightmare. I can't bear to think of the terrible end I was destined for. You're more beautiful than ever. And I love you more than ever. I... I well understand your feelings. But if... But if Hercules had not saved you as he did, your fate would have been far less terrible. When I offered you as a sacrifice to Proteus, it was not for the reason that you think. Not to satisfy the lust of that accursed monster. There was no need to sacrifice the daughter of a queen. 
You are the daughter of Antonia. You are my daughter. If you had to die, it was for a far more noble and fatal reason than that. Your destiny is bound to mine, as Mamie, just as mine is bound to my kingdom. I never told you the truth before because death and truth have the same meaning for me. Unfortunately, nothing has changed. On the day that a daughter of mine shall survive me, it is written in the sacred books, Atlantis shall be destroyed. Mother, then I... You must die. I don't want to die. No! I don't want to die. Oh. Oh, don't let them kill me. No! Take her away. No, I won't. I I don't doubt your words. I suppose you think I've lost my mind. Even I now seem only to have dreamed it all. No, what you've experienced is quite normal. Often the desire to see a loved one creates the illusion of seeing visions. Yes, perhaps you're right. Besides, you are weary from your long journey. Seeing nothing but death and hardship along the way, you must try to relax and put your mind at peace with more pleasant things. I've been waiting for this for days. Now I want to sleep. Get up there. Coming closer. One of the men is carrying a girl with him. It looks like she's a prisoner. A girl? Till sunset. Let's kill her now. It's orders of Antinea. When it's time, we'll throw her from the cliffs to the rocks below. Don't you look at me like that. We're merely obeying your mother. If it were up to me. What are you doing? Now save the girl. You want to see the killer? No, but I don't want to save her by getting killed myself. Look out. Thank you. 
her. No, I speared the last one. Good. Quick, the girl. Courage. Now, don't you be afraid. We're here to protect you. Courage. It's no use. It's no use. Why say that? Where could I go? No matter where, it's my best. But I die now. Don't be foolish. You'd want to kill you. What kind of people live here? Unfriendly and somewhat nervous. Fly for your lives at once. They'll kill you, too. They have possibly already killed the great Hercules. Hercules? Is he far away? Do you know him? He's my father. Don't worry now. If he's here, we're all safe. more interested in the grace of an art than a magical apparition. What you witness is not magic, but nature itself. Here in Atlantis, we try to subjugate nature to our own scope. I am satisfied with nature as it is. Savage and gentle at the same time. Cruel and yet generous. Perhaps that is because your strength and your courage make it possible for you not to be afraid of the mysteries of the universe. Why? Do you fear them? <laughs> Why are you so anxious to leave? Remain here with us. Have you not enjoyed my company? I must find Androcles. I shall have no peace until I discover what has happened to him. Perhaps your friend is dead. Perhaps his body lies at the bottom of the sea. I would like to stay here with you, Antonia. But at least for now, it is not possible. What a pity. Tomorrow I shall place at your disposal a ship so that you may continue your search. There's only one thing that I ask. You must promise me that you will return. I shall return. This I promise you. Atlantis. What do you want of us? But what are you saying? Androcles, you must be mad. <laughs> no. You. You are mad. If you think you're able to combat the force of Atlantis with the pitiful strength of your muscles. <sighs> you may kill me if you wish. But you'll all be destroyed. Destroyed by the forces of our queen. There will be no mercy for those who attempt to defy our power. There'll be no hope of escape for you. Androcles, listen to me. No. You listen to me, whoever you are. 
You must die. And with you, all Greeks will perish as blood rains down and purifies the earth. The skies will burst into flame to hail our victory, destroying the temples of your meaningless gods. And a great god will return to his own, Uranus, to rule over all. What you say is blasphemy. I'm sorry, Hercules. I did not wish but for you. But why did you lie to me? Why didn't you tell me he was here? You are too suspicious. Who knows what sinister motives you attribute to my acts? Perhaps you even believe those insane visions created out of your sick mind. I believe in what I see and what I hear. And you can't deny that you've lied to me. I told you that Androcles was not in Atlantis. I suppose you think that poor madman is your friend. Your very best friend for whom you were willing to leave your home and sacrifice your life. But why didn't you tell me? I wanted to spare you further grief. As far as you are concerned, Androcles is dead. Now I do not know whether it is better to have pity on him and let him go on suffering in his madness, or whether to... No. If you have pitied him up to now, I beg you to continue to pity him. And to forgive me for having doubted the sincerity of your feelings. Take him away and see that he is well treated. Do not worry about Androcles. Perhaps if you decide to stay here together, we can nurse him back to health. That is, if you so desire. Here, drink this wine. It will put your spirit at rest. I hope that tomorrow you will have decided to remain here for as long as you wish, even for the rest of your life. from here would have dared to attack us. So, only two men managed to overcome ten of you. Antinea, send me back with new men. I assure you this time they won't get away. I beg you. I swear, such a thing won't happen again. Yes, you're right. It won't happen again.
from jewelry, courses, books, games, and a lot of really good food. There's some people with muskets they've been firing up, and just been walking all over, seeing as much as I can. So they're talking about the muskets now. explaining how the muskets work, then I assume they're going to fire them. Let's see. It takes a long time to reload them, apparently. Weapons, pretty fun. Looks like they're about to open fire on those children playing. Oh, that was loud. I've had to imprison Andrew Cleave. In such a state of mind, he could easily be dangerous. Dangerous for whom? Dangerous for Atlantis. I am the queen of Atlantis. It is I who decide about life and death. Open it. Poor Andrew Cleave. Too fragile for the weight he had to support. Now somebody else will sit on the throne that was destined for him. Hercules. Take him to the valley and let him die like the rest of the weaklings. And then go find me his mane and kill her. Kill her! <laughs>
couldn't have escaped through the window. The bars are intact. Where is he? He can't have disappeared. Find him if you value your life. Let's go after them. You're mad. They'll kill you. I only want to follow them. See where they put him. Come on. Oh. Here comes the bar. Get her. Get her. Get her. Did you hurt yourself? It's Hercules. Silence, you 
can't do that by yourself. Even if you should break through, the guards would hear. It's better to run, hide ourselves. If my father finds me here with a girl, he'll never let me out of the house. I'd better do something useful before he gets hold of me. Then we can hide somewhere. Oh! Zeus be based. He's alive. Come on, Dave! Quickly, don't escape me! Kill every one of them! Feeding us like animals. And every day we curse the fates who keep us alive and that monstrous queen who put us here to starve. But why? What is the meaning of all this? To create a new race. Up there in the mountain of the dead is a miraculous rock which has the power to change all men. Change men? What do you mean? I don't know. I only know that we are doomed. Every year the guards of Antonia choose the children, destined to be changed by the rock and its powers. You resist, others don't. Those boys that I saw? Yes, we were like them before we were taken to the mountain many years ago. Look at us now. We are the few who resisted the rock and its influence. Those who succumbed have never been seen since. Many say that they now live in the world of the supernatural, creatures of evil, invincible. I'll go to the mountain. Send us to attack Atlantis! No, Hercules is right! We will never be really free until we destroy the power that rocks forever. I will go with you. Wait for me here and take care of Androcles. When I return, we shall decide what to do. Yes, Father. Come along. In spring, it's unbelievable. We'll just think about all our todays and tomorrows. Stranger, come! We're going to attack the city! Stop! You're all mad! You heard the orders from my father! We all love to Hercules, but he can't give us orders now! If you're afraid, stay here with your father! But we want our revenge! I must try to stop them. Look after Androcles and his maiden.
It's a really fun event where they obviously do old fashioned jousting. And let's see who wins. evil for all men. Look, down there is the fiery rock which holds the secret of life or death. 
You don't believe me, Hercules? You think I'm mad? The suffering has warped my mind, is that it? But what if it's true? You can't believe that a piece of rock can destroy a man as we know him. You can't believe that a piece of rock can change bodies as well as mine. That rock may give us life, Hercules, but it also brings death. With dead men who walk, Hercules. Unbelievable horror! <laughs> It was his destiny. I'm sure he's better off where he is now. When the light touched that man, he disappeared. The rock can also take life. Who are you, priest? There's no sign of years on your face, nor the passing of time in your eyes. In ages past, before Zeus, your father, reigned over the earth and over mankind, another god, immense and powerful, dominated Olympus. Uranus! Betrayed by his own sons, Uranus was struck down and thrust into the great unknown. The gore which flowed from his hideous wounds fell upon the seas and sank into the waters. And though all the earth needed that divine cleansing rain, only a few drops fell on Atlantis, making us the earth to all the powers of Uranus. And the blood of the god became a rock, living and vibrant, a rock that gave light and darkness <laughs> and evil. Antonia, the queen of the island, was eager to make use of the rock's powers. Hundreds of years have passed, ages of evil rituals and murders. Now, after much searching, Antonia has found the mystic secrets of Uranus and will use them to make herself omnipotent, destroying all mankind and the gods. You are a priest, Satan. How can you speak so of death and destruction? I was the last high priest dedicated to Uranus. And I still worship here at his sacred shrine. I'll serve him forever. Uranus was a just god not a god of revenge. If what you say is true, Zanus, this stone must be destroyed. It has already caused too much evil. The blood of Uranus can never be destroyed by no one on this earth. The rock of the god will only lose its power when touched by a force above and beyond this earth on which we live. Do you know the secret of this force, Zanus? Tell me. I can reveal to only one man the secret mysteries of the gods, but he must show me that he is stronger than the rock itself. Take this bar, Hercules, and demonstrate your strength. can destroy the rock of Uranus. When a man can remove that stone and a ray of sunlight shines upon the rock, then we will see the end of the reign of Antinea, of Atlantis, and of all its inhabitants. Thank you, Zenith, and have no fear. I shall succeed in defeating Antinea without destroying Atlantis or her inhabitants. With the help of my companion, I shall put an end to her reign. <laughs>
Because of you, Hercules. Listen to me. I could have had your son killed, and with him your friend. I could have had you killed, too. Perhaps I should have. For that is what my people advised me. But I did not heed their advice. I wanted you to live. I wanted you to live because I love you. Join me in the conquest of the world. All mankind will recognize me as their queen and adore you as the one and only God. Love me, Hercules, and together we shall reign over men and gods. And how do you expect to conquer the world? These are my soldiers, my men, against which no force in the world can combat of a supreme race born of the blood of Uranus. Pick up that table, Hercules, and hurl it away if you are able to. I can dominate the world, and you shall be at my side. This is a mad dream, Antonia, but I shall put an end to the madness. So once again, you have disobeyed me. Yes, I know. But the slaves wanted to attack the city, and there wasn't any time to stop them. Where are the others? I don't know. Timotheus got away with his mania and Androcles, but when I tried to join them, I was attacked. 
I was hit from behind by one of those strange men with white hair. And when I came to, I found myself here. Maybe they use magic. Androcles invoking my help. This is the room where Androcles lost his memory and consciousness. And Antonia means to do the same thing to us. Renaissance fair goers, and I figured I'd ask them about the fair. All right, so you guys are a random assortment of fun looking people. What do you go to the Renaissance fair every year? I every do. single year. Multiple times. Usually. Do you dress for every themed weekend? I not wish I not could. every. <laughs> like whenever you go, do you try to go with the theme? This weekend, yes, steampunk every year, um, but we'll usually go another year in full like Viking attire, authentic Viking attire. So, what is your favorite thing about the Renaissance Fair? Booze. <laughs> Booze is really good. The shops are awesome. It's a good variety. Hard. All the shows are always fun. It's the costume, the people watching. Oh, the uh, people being, watching is great. Being a part of adults playing dress up is like one of the funnest things for me. Booze. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I like the fantasy element. You can do anything you want, be anyone you want for a weekend. Absolutely. So not you, but you two. What's your favorite horror movie? <laughs> Ooh, Evil Dead yeah. 1 or 2? It's such a hard choice. 2 is better. I'll go with 2. Mm, I don't know. Oh, no. I, we did go see Evil Dead the Musical together, oh, okay. and we were in the splatter zone. I wish I could remember <laughs> more of it. How about you? Favorite uh, movie? Jaws. Sharks are cool. Awesome. All right, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Enjoy the fair. You as well. Thank you. She talked me into buying. So, Brandon Perico, you are looking fabulous. What inspired your outfit today? Um. Well, it's steampunk weekend, but I really only have things for pirates, so. There's a lot of overlap there. Yeah, I figured it would work. And what's your favorite thing about the Renaissance Fair? Um, I just like how decadent you can dress. It's so fun to just go all out. Well, do a little twirl for us. Let's see. Yes. All right. Thank you.
Hi, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I do it with you all the time. <laughs> Tell me, stupid. Who are you? Where's his maid? Captured. And Andrew Clint with her. I tried to protect them. I threw myself on those soldiers. I fought like a lion. I confused them. I must have killed at least 50. But his maid is a prisoner? Yes. Where is she? Down on that ship. She and Andrew Cleese are to be sacrificed. They'll set fire to the ship and let it drift away in the wind. We've got to get aboard that ship. What did you say? Start yelling. Right now? You heard me. Call for help. And you asked your mind off. I told you to start yelling. Help somebody. Help. He's a lunatic. Help me, please. Shadow is being bright sunlight will shine. Go, Hercules, leave this island. The fates have decreed that you shall live. While the ship will be aflame, and the waves of the sea satiated will not seek other victims, and thus they will protect the voyage of our warrior. There's the signal. I'll set the ship afire.
killing. What's going on? What ship is this? Where are we bound? Don't you remember anything? Oh, there was a shipwreck. I fell overboard. I, I called your name. There was a bright light shining. I don't remember anymore. So then you don't know what you did. What? Well, what did I do? You saved all of Greece. <laughs> <laughs> tonight. I hope you enjoyed Hercules and the Captive Women as much as we did. Didn't we, Morgan? Oh yeah, Morgan really likes that one. It's a personal favorite of hers. Anyway, I enjoy it too. Not as much as Moleman against Sons of Hercules, but Hercules movies are super fun for me, and I like Greek mythology anyway, and while this is so loosely based on it as to have very little connection at all, I'm going to run with it. And I hope you guys enjoyed our trip to the Renaissance Fair. And we had a lot of fun there. So I'm glad we could take you along with. And of course, as always, Morgan, we will. That's right. Talk to you soon.